everyone, it's Sylvia from Deviant Reads, and today I will be filming a mini review on Wolf by Wolf. So, this book deals with the alternate versions of World War II, so instead of seeing the Allied powers winning, it's the Axis powers that have won. So, Germany and Japan have risen to power, and no one is able to stop them. Throughout this book, we follow the main character, Yael, and she is a death camp survivor. She piques the interest of a doctor who heavily experiments on her and these experiments allows her to kind of blend in now when she escapes she's only able to escape by herself and this is something that haunts her and we we see it throughout the book when she finally reaches the outside world she is eventually introduced into the resistance while in the resistance it turns out that she is the only person to success that is able to successfully accomplish a mission to assassinate the Fuhrer. And this mission deals with her having to impersonate a previous winner of a yearly race that takes place during in the Third Reich. This race deals with her having to ride a motorcycle cross country. The resulting winner will have a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet the Fuhrer. And this is what she is aiming for. Now throughout the book, as she is trying to accomplish this mission, She's also having to deal with Adele's family life and love life as well. This is something that gives her a hard time because she does not have any family, so she gets drawn into her life, into Adele's life, and she starts kind of like forgetting what she, she is there for. Overall, like I feel like this book is fantastic if you have not read it yet. I highly recommend it. I believe I gave it a 4 star rating on Goodreads, but if I could, I would give it like a 4.5, 4.75 rating. Like they, It had its quirks, but overall I enjoyed it and I cannot wait until I pick up the second book. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't pick it up when I grabbed this. Guys, I just noticed that my pages were not cut right and it's pretty funny like I'm not even upset it's just really really funny I don't know if you guys can see that let me see it's really funny it kind of bothers me because it's not like flush but I'm not like, upset about it. it might give me an excuse to pick up another might give me the excuse to pick up a hardcover so I can pick up the hardcover Blood for Blood. We'll see though, because I just bought a, a good amount of books. Anyway, so back to the review. This is a fantastic story. If you love action, if you love a little bit, you know, like a little bit of romance, it's not like heavily like doused in it. And if you enjoy the World War II period, like this is, like it, it's done tastefully, it's done, I feel fantastic, it's, Ryan Garden definitely did justice to the topic, and this is not something easy to write about. I believe I gave this book a 4 star rating on Goodreads, but truthfully I give it like a 4.5, 4.75, again there's certain things about it that I really don't want to get into too much because then I'll be giving away spoilers so to say but it's nothing that you can't look past and it's nothing that will probably not go unresolved like I'm sure a lot of the stuff that I did not really like or felt like could have been done a little differently will kind of be resolved in the second book so yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.